using Microsoft Excel to calculate percentage differences. When do we need to do this? Or any time we need to calculate percentage change. This could be the percentage water in soils before and after we dry them. Could be the percentage growth or change in the mass of plants. It could be the percentage change in cells due to osmosis. Could be the percentage error on any measurement that we make. The formula for percentage change is as is shown here. The difference in measurements divided by the starting measurement then multiplied by 100 over 1 in order to make it into a percentage. This can be rewritten like this. Difference times 100 over the starting measurement. Now let's look at an example of using this. Here is some data from an investigation my class just carried out. You can see there's initial masses and there's final masses. Obviously we need units here. Why would we use percentage change in mass here? Well we tried to cut all our pieces the same but as you can see they're all slightly different. So a change in mass, larger piece, could have a larger change. By making it a percentage change it helps standardize for the slightly different starting masses. Now when we look at this there's a few errors to fix on the table first. These are all to one decimal place. So we click this value there we go, it matches the column. All of this data is to two decimal places. There we go. And finally I would center that so it looks good. I think now this is starting to look like a table. The formula said difference divided by starting measurement. So the first thing we have to do is to work out the difference in mass. Of course in some unit. We simply subtract these to calculate the difference. So equals. Now this grew bigger. Should be a positive change. So this minus this. Enter. There's my formula. I grab that corner. The cursor goes different. Drag down. Done. Often we'll need to use these buttons again to get significant figures correct. It's going to be a table. I'm going to cut and paste into my Word document. Keep it looking good. We have a mass difference. Now our formula was difference, which we've calculated, times 100, divided by the starting measurement. So now we can calculate that. Equals, we need brackets here, the difference times 100. Shift 8 is times 100. End of bracket. There's our top line. Difference times 100. Divided by the starting mass. 26%, about a quarter more than that. That's about right. Take the corner again, the cursor goes different. Drag it down, we have all our values. Tidy it up. This is also mass change. This time though we know it's as a percentage. Now you notice these are positive values. These are negative values. This should have gained mass. This should have lost just a small amount. This is how we calculate percentage change in Excel.